Okay. So a moving system undergoes an explosion. What is the correct, what is correct for the momentum of the system and the kinetic energy of the system when they are compared immediately before and after the explosion? So what happens is whether like it is a, an explosion or it's a collision, okay, these kind of things, there are action and reaction forces coming into existence. And in such a kind of a system, momentum is always compared. So there is no doubt about it, whether it's elastic collision or it's inelastic collision, it's perfectly inelastic collision, it's explosion, it's whatever it is, super, uh, super explosion, something like that. Whatever it is, the momentum is always conserved. So first thing, first thing first, we have now, we know that C and D both questions are wrong. I generally tell my students here in India that if you ever come across this kind of a question and two options are definitely wrong and two options, you come to this conclusion that these two are definitely right. You can definitely go for um, uh, what we say, a guesswork there, a hunch, and you can take the answer there. Yeah, but anyways, let us go for the kinetic energy now. As per the kinetic energy of the system is concerned, it's an explosion. So what happens in an explosion? In an explosion, there is some chemical energy or some nuclear energy there. That nuclear energy converts itself into the kinetic energy we all know. So obviously, from mechanical energy point of view, the energy has increased from wherever it has come. Either it comes from the chemical energy or from nuclear. We don't, we least concerned about that. But something has happened kinetic energy in total has increased. So A will be the answer. So uh, let us verify the answer here from mark scheme. Yes, the answer is A. So with this, all the best.